Jack, before the break, you were talking about uh, so really some canaries in the coal mine even before COVID hit uh, in terms of our uh, growth uh, and our ability to grow our economy, our ability to be competitive and so forth. Uh, do you th see those things? Uh, I, I'm just trying to figure out how COVID exacerbates that or does that give us a chance to spring forward uh, in, in a roaring 20s kind of way post-COVID? What's, what's your take on that? Uh, well, first of all, I think COVID made things worse, obviously. I mean, we've, we've had uh, parts of the economy uh, shut down. Uh, we've had uh, people thrown out of work, not everybody, obviously, but, you know, certain sectors were, were badly hurt. Uh, COVID has probably made some changes to the Canadian economy that we'll see afterwards and, and particularly potentially more uh, flexible working arrangements, uh, which is uh, going to have an impact on commercial real estate and, and uh, some of the urban centers in our larger cities, things like that. Uh, uh, we may not see business travel come back to the level it was, as people now have gotten very much used to using uh, you know, the technologies that are now available. Uh, and and we, you know, I think personal travel will come back. I think people want to go out and go various places. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also see that people have gotten very used to ordering, uh, you know, via, uh, you know, as, you know, ordering digitally uh, what they want to have. And, and so the retail sector will have to change uh, as a result. And all those things mean that, uh, that, uh, that unemployment that we're now seeing is, is going to be more hardcore. It's going to be structural unemployment. It, it means that people, there are going to be some people not being able to go back to the jobs that they used to have and therefore are going to need retraining. And we're also going to need uh, business investment to try to pick up uh, the marbles where, which have been lost. Right. And 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 those and that business investment will, will be critical. And then the other aspect is that our government debt has, of course, zoomed up. I mean, uh, you probably remember the days of the early '90s after, you know, uh, 20 years of, uh, of bad fiscal um, management uh, that led to the point where Canada almost had to go to the IMF uh, to float any bonds right. and to get a, to get help. Uh, We've really corrected that as a country. Um, all, all, all parties, actually, uh, in whatever federal or provincial government, uh, really did an outstanding job. Where we ran 12 years of surpluses and until we hit the financial crisis in, in 2008. Uh, we really got our balance sheets uh, well in order. And the financial crisis wasn't too bad. We were able to, that was a big item, but it, it uh, led to a lot of unemployment. But uh, at least from the debt side, we at, you know we jumped up our debt, but it wasn't too bad. And, and so coming into this pandemic, uh, we have now really spent a lot of our firepower. And uh, frankly, if there's another recession over the next seven, eight years, which could well happen, uh, we're not in, in as good a position as we were back in 2007 to meet that terrible financial crisis that we had at that point or the pandemic that we've had right. at this point. So. So that's going to be, uh, we're going to have to deal with that debt problem uh, after this pandemic, and, and that's going to require growth. Uh, and at least that's one of the best ways, actually, of trying to deal with the debt problem. Uh, and we will return to that, uh, I, I, I assure you, because I think that's an important issue is, is how, uh, what are the tools available to us to climb out of this? Uh, we've got about a minute before the break. Uh, just viewing the provincial budgets, was there anything that stood out uh, at the Alberta, Quebec, Ontario, other budgets that uh, could help us find a way uh, towards a better economic position? Well, again, the deficits are, are significant and, and we have to remember Canada has a lot of provincial debt, uh, which uh, is piled on top of this uh, federal debt. And that's something that you don't find in the United States. Um, and so that's gonna be a problem that also has to be managed. Uh, although the provinces have been more careful than the federal government in spending money. Uh, but I think that's because the federal government has spent so much money that the provinces can sit back a little bit and let the federal government absorb uh, most of the shock.